Welcome to Al May. We are here to share tech knowledge with you. Let's get our journey started. Today, we are going to talk about how to transfer data from one hard drive to another. We have two parts in this video. Part one: transferring data by file syncing. Part two: transferring data by disk cloning. If you plan to replace HDD with SSD or backup files on one hard drive to another, you need to move data between two drives. It is easy to transfer a small number of files by copy and paste method. What if there are large groups of files to transfer? What if the drive you are going to copy contains various programs or even the operating system? Your computer may fall to boot due to some hidden files missing if you still use the copy and paste method. How to copy a large number of files from one drive to another efficiently? And how to copy programs and operating system correctly? That's where specialized hard drive copy software comes. Specialized hard drive copy software can save you from tedious work of copy and paste and ensure a bootable operating system after transferring. Alme Backupper, the best free backup software, comes to help. You can take advantage of the following two methods to accomplish data transfer between two hard drives. The first one is file sync. The second one is disk clone. Just Google Alme Backupper, download and install it. Let's move to part one to see the first method. If you are moving files such as documents, pictures, and music from the PC hard drive to another drive, file sync can help you a lot. It enables you to move plenty of files between two drives at the same time. You can even sync files between a cloud drive and a NAS, such as backup Dropbox to Synology. Here are the detailed steps. Click Alme Backupper and come to its home page. You can see the main features on left side and click Sync among these features. Then click Basic Sync. Here you can name the task if you need. Next, click Add Folder to select the folder which you want to synchronize from the source drive. Here is folder A, and select another drive as the destination path to start the synced folder. Here I choose K drive as an example. You can see here are option and schedule buttons at the bottom. Click option. In this pop-up window, you can write a comment for your sync task or enable email notification here. Next, you can see two options here. The first one is sync the deletions in source directory to destination. This means when your files are deleted from the source directory, the same files in the destination directory will also be deleted. The second one is verify the integrity of files in the destination directory during synchronization. This means if a file in source directory is not exist, the missing file will be synced to destination directory. Hit Schedule. You can set the sync task to run periodically. There are five mods provided. Daily, weekly, monthly, event triggers, and a USB plug-in. Finally, click Start Sync to perform the operation. After a short while, your files will be transferred. Let's move to part two to see the second method. If you are transferring files along with programs and operating systems to a new drive, you need to try this way. Disk clone will help you copy all data on the source drive so you can use them on the new drive without reinstallation. Attention! All the data in the destination will be overwritten in the cloning process, so you can use Alme Backupper to back up your important data in advance. Let's see the detailed steps. Run Alme Backupper and get to its home page. Click Clone on the left pane and select Disk Clone. 
Select the original hard drive on your PC as the source disk and click Next. Here is disk 1. Select the destination drive you want to clone to and click Next. Here is disk 2. This pop-up window will warn you to back up important data. If you are sure to do this, then click OK. Here are three options you need to notice. Click Edit Partitions. You can choose to resize partitions on the destination disk or not here. The next option, SSD Alignment. It will improve the reading and writing speed of the SSD. Use this option if the destination disk is an SSD. The third one is Sector by Sector Clone. It will clone every sector on the source disk no matter it is used or not, and it requires the destination disk to be equal to or larger than the source disk. At last, click Start Clone. After a while, you will have two SAM drives. That is all about how to transfer data from one hard drive to another. Hope you can get what you need after watching this video. Want to know more about Alme? Looking for more tech knowledge? Just subscribe us and leave comments. We are here to help you with any questions.